peace, love, and light, y'all. So, it is Dr. Makita. I'm Dr. Good. I hope everybody is well. I hope you are shining. I hope you are remembering your truth and flowing with all the best of who you are. Um, I was stretching. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was a random place to start. Okay, but anyways. So, I was stretching and then I had an idea. And then immediately I was about to stop stretching to go write down the idea and implement it. And I was just like, ah, oh, there it goes again, my quote unquote ADHD. So I wanted to make this video to share my truths about having ADHD or what people classify as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And for me, it is considered the predominantly inattentive type which basically means it's hard for you to concentrate on things for long periods of time to, you know, really pay attention, maybe in conversations, you're kind of zoning out a lot, you're constantly getting distracted. So that's more of the inattentive type. Um, there's also the hy predominantly hyperactive type. And this is the people you see who just have tons of energy. They're really impulsive, might be interrupting conversations, fidgety, like kind of like looking everywhere, you know, classic ADHD. Um, but for those who have the predominant inattentive type it's more of just like difficult like I said difficulty paying attention um, and getting distracted right it's more in the mind versus the body however one thing I have discovered is that even with the inattentive type um, the hyperactivity is still there but it's this hyperactive mind right so that hyperactive hyperactivity is affecting your attention and for me the blessing and the curse is that my mind is constantly downloading ideas, okay? So like I just said over there, like I was stretching and when I was stretching, I got into this very like still zone, kind of like a meditative state. I focus on my breathing and an idea pops up. And this happens to me all the time. This is why I'm a big proponent of meditation because if you are a creator, which all of us are, when you meditate, when you slow down your thinking and you quiet the mind, it really opens this really beautiful energy um, creative portal. Um, but anyway, so for me, that happens very often um, in conversations with people. You know, if, if you are really intriguing my mind, there's, there's a good chance I'm like battling the ideas that are popping in my head and then trying to listen to you at the same time. Um, and sometimes I'm not as successful at that. But that is the beauty of the ADHD for me, what, what is considered ADHD, right? My mind is very open. It's, it's always connecting things. Um, so I had to train it to be present more often. I had to train it to, when someone is speaking to me, to be fully present with them and not, get, not go on a train of thought of something that I was inspired by. But one thing that helps me is just writing things down um, in conversation and also... I know I used to feel a lot of guilt about getting distracted in conversations with people um, and, and fear like that, that they meant that they felt that what they had to say wasn't important. Um, I felt guilty about that. So one thing I do now is like I let people know, like if it's someone who I'm talking to in a regular, like my partner, um, I would tell him like, sorry, I got distracted. Um, and I let him know before, like, this is just how my mind works. Like I'm working to be more present. I'm working to, um, it's kind of like I have to choose like what you're saying over what creative thing my mind wants to say. And it's like, I shouldn't feel like I have to say, I'm not going to tend to my own creativity in order to fully be present with you. I don't know. I feel like, I know that's just a Leo thing, but I feel like I'm denying my truth. Um, and saying that what you're saying is much more important than this inspiration that came to me, which some people could argue that I shouldn't fear losing that inspiration because it is there already and it will come back, which is likely true. Um, but what I have found myself to do now, uh, and I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but what I found myself doing now is that if I can get very present, I can, and if I, if I get really present, and I write down my idea really fast without the worry or guilt that this person finds me rude or whatever. Because like, if I'm like removing a whole train of thought that doesn't need to be there. Because like now I got listening to this person, listening to the inspiration I have, and then this voice that's saying by you not by you getting distracted, you know you're a bad person or whatever it is. So there's a third voice in there. So basically now, by letting people know that this tends to happen, or just by 
knowing myself, like I'm not doing it to be rude, I can remove that voice of guilt um, or, you know, concern about perception out of my head. So now I only have the two voices, which I, <laughs> I realize is a lot more manageable. Um, which is listening to this person while also writing down what I want to write because it's important to me. And I don't want to like not write it down and be sitting here trying to listen to you. But I'm thinking like, damn, like I should have wrote that down. So for me, my solution is writing it down, writing it quick and being very present because when I'm very present, I can still receive that information, enough of it um, to then come back into the conversation without being lost. But, um, but yeah, ADHD, what we consider ADHD, inattentive which is this hyperactivity of the mind that makes it difficult to pay attention and to concentrate it makes you easily distracted by those beautiful creative thoughts um i've managed it pretty well i'm you know completed a phd you know um a lot of other accomplishments in life so i teach meditation and this is i think that's why i go so hard for meditation because i know what it did for me and i know for even in addition to having adhd also being somebody who had anxiety um, generalized anxiety and socialized social anxiety so with all three of those conditions which for those who don't know ADHD and anxiety go pretty much hand in hand because you have to think about like when you think about anxiety it's like this overactive worry um, so many people have ADHD if they have any kind of fear or whatever fear or self-doubt um, it can easily turn into an anxiety disorder because now you have that overactivity is already naturally there and then you add in um, uh, trauma, pain, or whatever emotions, now you just add that on top of that overactive mind and then you naturally have, you know, those intrusive thoughts for anxiety or even depression too. Um, but through meditation, I really learned how to, one, become aware of how I feel. Like, like So meditation gives you that awareness of what is happening so that way you're not spending hours stressed out now your shoulders are all tense and like that used to happen to me like i would just be get home and i, and I would just be like oh my gosh like a wave would just come over me feeling all the pain because i had been tense all day um so if you have anxiety or adhd you likely experience that as well but through meditation you train yourself to be aware of that and also in meditation, you become more aware of how you're breathing, which is so, so important. Like breathing is so important for our mental health and that it gives oxygen to your brain and it puts you in a relaxed state, which your brain needs to be in in order to be its most cre creative and optimal self. Um, but it also affects, uh, benefits you physically in that it gets your nervous system out of that fight or flight and more into the relax. And when things are relaxed and that's when your body's like, okay, things are safe, we can create life. When your body feels like things are unsafe and unsafe for so long, then that's when organs start to shut down because there's there's all this inflammation going on. Nothing's really functioning because it's in survival mode. Basically, you know, when you get to depression, things like that, your body starts preparing for death because it's just like, there's no love here. There's no life here. What's the point? So that's why people who have, that's why they say like almost 90% of the, the physical health conditions we have have a psychological basis. Like they came from something that started in your mind. Like, yes, you might have genetic predispositions, but we know now that your life experiences and how you perceive them affects your physical health. And your psychology is dictating your physical health for the most part. So by learning how to breathe, your you know, the oxygen that's in your blood is delivering nutrients all over your body, right? You need oxygen for your brain health. Um, and again, just being out of that fight or flight so that way you're not constantly putting out cortisol, uh, which is gonna have negative impact, a negative impact on your cellular health. And then of course, spiritually, meditation helps you spiritually because it helps you to notice the different voices in your head so that way you really know who is you. You know, it helps you to be like, oh, there goes that negative thought. Okay, well, if I'm the one observing that negative thought, then that means that negative thought's not coming from me. It's coming from this part of my mind that's been conditioned by certain life experiences. And then you also get quiet enough to hear another voice, which is the voice I consider my higher self, maybe even the voice of the most high, maybe even the voice of my ancestors. And this one normally just comes through images. It's not really... Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually, actually just had a moment of, you know, awareness there. Um, the thoughts that are coming from my conscious mind are like words and thoughts, right? But the things that are, what I feel like is inspiration, which is 
in spirit coming in, which is spirit coming in, inspiration, um, it, it comes through images and it comes through feelings. Um, and when you allow yourself to open up to the spirit aspect of who you are, then you realize that you're much bigger than the little challenges, even though they might seem, sound, uh, they might seem big, you're much bigger than those challenges that are in front of you, right? Because you realize you're a spirit and you realize you're a creator, just like the creator who created this world. And when you can have that awareness, it allows you to realize that your mind has been conditioned um, and trained to be as it is from the world that you live in, right? So now you can stop um, identifying with those negative thoughts or those false beliefs. And it opens you up to getting more downloads, more creativity. Like when I say I have like books on books on books, notepads on notepads on notepads of ideas that I have, like so many different inventions and services and insights, all these things. I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm constantly getting these downloads and things that will eventually, you know, become, come, you know, real life manifestations. Um, but that's, you know, if you don't know how to manage it, it can be challenging. Um, and you want to be able to have these benefits of mind, body and spirit benefits. So, you know, try meditation. It definitely will help. This is why I'm a meditation coach. Um, most of the, like, what I love about what I do is that I'm teaching my clients from what I have lived and what I have experienced, you know? And this is why, for me, it's easy for me to look at the challenges in my life, the traumas, the mishaps, the embarrassing moments, the fears, all these things as blessings because I can teach from them. And I can teach the people who are going through those things I can teach them how to get through those things because I've been through them. So like, I don't feel, you know, like I, I, I'm blessed that I had these challenges that unlock certain things within me that I could then share with other people. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I love what I do as a coach. Um, and ADHD is something that I have um, encountered a lot as a therapist. And it's something that I want to really... Um, really um, let people know that I can assist them with because I live with it. I study it. I understand it, um, you know, to a level that can bring benefits and, and pretty quick benefits with just simple changes, um, you know, and the main thing is developing that meditation practice. Um, so whether it's, you know, you just want the meditation, me to teach you meditation and help you to build that meditation habit because we all need it. No matter what, what is going on, everyone should have a meditation practice because that is how you connect with your truth. That's how you relax your body into a healing space. That's how you just become more aware of and intentional about designing your life and, and knowing how to navigate life's challenges. So that way, you know, nothing takes you off track. Um, but yeah, so there'll, there will be a link um, below this video to go to the website to book your session, whether it's dissertation coaching. I mean, a lot of grad students got ADHD uh, and it can get in the way. So don't let it get in the way. So, you know, if you want to have me be your dissertation coach, I can help you with ADHD as well. Your life coach, uh, meditation coach, whatever it is. All the stuff is on the website. All the services are there. Um, and I, I'm excited. I love seeing my clients like just have these moments of just like, what? Like, I didn't realize it was this, I don't want to say easy, but I've seen some of them just be like, damn, like had somebody just told me this like years ago or had I just done this years ago? It's like, you know, people see quick changes, you know, they see I mean, quick um, progress and results. And it's just because I've learned how to simplify things because I live it. So because I actually live these things, and I'm, I'm constantly working on being the best version of myself. I'm constantly finding new tools, new solutions and what works and what doesn't work. So that's why I'm very effective. And I'm so grateful that I get to play this role to get to see people going from depressed, suicidal, anxious to just being excited about life. You know, I'm so grateful that I get to be that, you know, um, and help people really be their happiness, discover their truth and be in their happiness. So the link is below um, to schedule your session. Don't be afraid to you know, invest in yourself. You're the most important thing in, in your life. Your mind, your body, your spirit is the most important thing, regardless of what business, whatever it is, investing in yourself is the very first thing that you should invest it, invest in your health. Um, so we're heading into the winter. I posted a video before about 
how the winter can shake some of us when it comes to staying on our path, don't let that be you, okay? Start the beginning of the year so proud of yourself of how you really went balls to the wall, fully in alignment with the abundance, having everything rained down, and you're just really enjoying this winter season because of all the beautiful things you're going to create. So with that, I'm actually going to go back to my yoga. <laughs> I'm going to finish my yoga. Um, as my mind will allow me, I give thanks for the inspiration to create this video. Um, but I will see y'all next time. Peace, love, and light. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and share this video. Share the knowledge. Let's all help each other be happier, be healthier, be our best selves. You know, because it's more fun that way. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If it brought you value, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you are looking to deepen your meditation practice, you can join me for my weekly meditation group that happens every Monday, as well as each seventh of every month, I go live on Instagram with my bestie to do meditation and yoga. And you can also find me on the Parallel Paths podcast where each season we dive into a different topic related to the mind body spirit this past season we went through the chakras all right peace love and light stay soul powerful <laughs>